Imagine a heavenly body in the process of constituting itself. It would not first of all determine how great its surface was to be and which other body it was to move. It would first allow the centripetal and centrifugal forces to harmonize its existence and then let the rest take its course. Similarly, it is useless for a person to constitute himself by first determining his outside, then afterwards the fundamentals. One must know oneself before knowing anything else. It is only after a person has thus understood himself inwardly and his soul's commitment that life acquires peace and significance. But this does not mean one gets a free pass, to merely exist as he is. Merely existing is like a peasant who lies in the wagon sleeping, while the horses walk and shift for themselves. For true existence has to do with the one who drives. And if one is to do the driving, he must first understand what he is driving toward. This requires heart and a singular pure idea placed within it. There is a figure of speech that compares the heart to the sea. And why is this so? Simply for the reason that the depth of the sea determines its purity, and its purity determines its transparency. Since the sea is pure only when it is deep, and it is transparent only when it is pure, as soon as it is impure, it is no longer deep but only surface water, and as soon as it is only surface water, it is not transparent. When, on the contrary, it is deeply and transparently pure, then it is all of one consistency, no matter how long one looks at it. On this account we compare the heart with the sea, because its purity lies in its constancy of depth and transparency. No storm may perturb it, no sudden gust of wind may stir its surface, no drowsy fog may sprawl out over it, no doubtful movement may stir within it, and no swift moving cloud may darken it. Rather, it must lie calm, transparent to its depths. If you should see it so, and contemplate the purity of it, you will be drawn upwards. Just as the sea, when it lies calm and deeply transparent, yearns for higher things, so may the pure heart, when it is calm and deeply transparent, yearn for something greater than itself. This greater good for we Europeans is our historical culture, its beliefs, identity, and peoples. This is what our hearts must now drive towards, like charioteers with one singular will. And when we finally make our charge, the fire from our eyes and within our hearts will blot out the sun.